emergency meeting. Alex Smith is chair of the College Republican National Committee. Her party also recently named her a Republican rising star. Thanks for joining us, Alex. You know, thank uh, you, Richard. You heard what Casey was saying. You all well, so replayed what uh, the former governor had said. Former Governor Huckabee his argument about birth control there. What's your thought? Would it have been better here for your party if, if a woman had made the argument instead of Mike Huckabee here? Sure. Well, uh, thank you for the opportunity to have me on. I certainly respect the governor, um, and I think what he was trying to do is to explain how Democrats um, are trying to frame the issue with women voters. But at the same time, the comments were inappropriate, and they weren't words that I w would have chosen. You would not have chosen them, them, so you, those words yourself. Well, what would yes. you say to Mike Huckabee then? I mean, like I would say to the um, to the campaigns that approach us at the College Republican National Committee, um, the different officials that approach us about how to message to younger voters, I think it's like what Chairman Priebus said, that it's about tone. It's about the way that we communicate things. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, that can really start to, uh, a productive dialogue with these um, demographics that we've traditionally had a little more difficulty with um, just by changing the way we communicate. Let's talk about demographics. Uh, you're one of, is it five rising stars that remain? Five rising yes. stars. All which of, uh, uh, they're all women. Uh, what's your reaction to that? You know, I think that that shows Chairman Priebus's and Co-Chairman Day's uh, commitment to the Growth and Opportunity Project that they released last spring, which was to engage with these demographics, like I said, where we have had challenges. Uh, and the fact that he chose uh, five women to, to be up there from all walks of life, all different ages, two elected officials uh, in key states for, for our party, I think really shows the RNC commitment to sticking to the principles and the goals of the Growth and Opportunity Project. You know, looking forward here, Alex, uh, let's go to 2016 for a second in the race for president. The Republican candidate lost the women's vote by a margin of 11 percentage points in the previous presidential race. So you're part of this, as well as the other rising stars that you were mentioning there. How are you and this new generation of rising stars going to narrow or reverse that gap? What, what's your idea? Well, particularly through work with younger voters. So many uh, younger voters are young women voters, young single women voters. Um, so part of uh, winning over women in general starts with talking to young people. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know what we talked about at the College Republican National Committee with the re research report that we released in 2013 is that the Republican Party, uh, you know, has a branding problem with younger voters. That they agree with us on core issues like the size and scope of government, right. um, but they don't connect that to the Republican Party brand and that's where you know we at the College Republican National Committee working in tandem with our sister committees really need to provide that bridge. How about you in public office? What's the future got? You know uh, Richard I just want to graduate from law school. Okay. <laughs> first. first things first that's right law school is uh, certainly uh, a lot of work ahead for you. Alex Smith one of the RNC's new rising stars. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just ahead Bad Bieber with his recent string of misdeeds and run-ins is the teen idol on the same path as other fallen teen stars before.